Yes, sir, man. We live and we back. Welcome, welcome back to the Golden Goose DFS show. I am your host, Chandler Blakely, aka Goose. Here today, bringing you my Monday morning quarterback series, man. Just our lineup review videos where we go over our best lineup from the Sunday's main slate on DraftKings. So that's what we're here to do, man. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Definitely, everybody hit the like button, man. Turn notification bells on so you can be here rocking with us every week when we drop videos, all right? So let's get into this breakdown. It was a crazy Sunday, man. Just as far as real life football, that was like the that was the best collection of games I've seen on a Sunday in a long time, man. A lot of good games, games coming down to the wire, two point conversions, overtime, great comebacks, man. It was just a great day for football. Not great for me on DFS though, man. It was a rough one out there. Took a beating yesterday. Uh, got my best lineup pulled up. This is in the uh the I think this is the dollar twenty max right here. Yeah, uh put up two oh one, a little min cash over here, but like I said, overall just a losing day yesterday. It was a rough day, man. Uh in this particular video, in this particular lineup right here, I'm sorry. We went with Carson Wentz. We went with uh to that uh Commanders Lions game, one of the high total games on the slate. Uh, we went with Carson Wentz here. Felt like he was a cheap value QB that wasn't getting a lot of ownership. He ended up getting 14% here in this contest. We paired him with Gibson and Curtis Samuel, man. Uh, just trying to get every piece of that uh, commander's offense. Wanted to have the ground and the air attack. So I went with Gibson and Curtis Samuel paired with Carson Wentz here. Tried to get a little different because I felt like this, uh, this stack could gain a little more. Could see a little more ownership, especially with Wentz being so cheap and his total being so high in this game. So I try to get different. I know a lot of people are probably going Samuel and Thomas, maybe some Samuel and McLaurin. So I wanted to just try to just to, uh, get a piece of the running game and the passing game and hope that this game was uh, as high scoring as Vegas thought it would be. And it was. It was a high scoring game, not the highest scoring game on the slate, but still a high total game that did fairly well. Antonio Gibson hurt us right here, man. Uh, he he salvaged his day with a rushing TV, but not not much in a far away of production. Uh, Curtis Samuel was. Another solid target of Carson Wentz, man. He may he he's looked like he's shaping up to be Carson Wentz's favorite target, man. I think he's seen the bulk of the target these first two weeks, and that forty six hundred price tag was nice on him. All right, once I got those two, once I got the offensive side from the Commanders, I had to run it back where I'm Ross St. Brown, as we knew he was the main target for the Lions. I wanted to go here just to make sure I'm getting one of the main guys because they have Swift, but you know he's in the timeshare with um. Jamal Williams over there, and I didn't want to go Hawkinson because I wanted to pay up for the best tight end, the highest upside tight end on the slate. So we went on Ross St. Brown, 6,500. He came through with a nice performance for us. And like I said, so at my tight end, I went Mark Andrews, the highest priced tight end on the but we knew he had a – we. we uh, he had a chance of being the top performing tight end, and if you caught my quarter, uh, my stacks video earlier in the week, last week uh, on last Thursday – you knew I was heavy on Lamar Jackson. He was one of my quarterbacks in the QB video. So, definitely want to get to Mark Andrews, man. Yes, I was on Lamar Jackson, but I I think my, my, my main fault yesterday was I single stacked him. As I told y'all, a lot of times with dual threat QBs, I don't like to double stack. So, I uh, I single stacked a lot of uh, Lamar Jackson yesterday. A lot of Lamar and Mark Andrews. A lot of Lamar and Bateman. So, not going to the double stack really hurt us yesterday, but... Got Mark Andrews here in this lineup. He had 100 receiving yards in the TD for 28 fantasy points. Pretty sure it was the highest scoring tight end on yesterday's slate. Wanted to stay in that game, and I ran it back with Tyreek Hill, guys. That probably was another misstep of mine yesterday because I, I liked Lamar Jackson in that Raven side so much that I didn't um, really think about looking at Tua and not thinking that if for him to have a – if the game's turned into a shootout and Lamar was to truly get his ceiling game, it's a good chance that on the other side they was having a good game as well. So I probably, in hindsight, probably should have got to some more tour, but wasn't thinking that way because I had plenty of his receivers. I had Tyreek Hill. I had Waddle. I even ran Gasicki in the lineup, just running back with my Lamar stack. So probably should have got some tour in hindsight, but you know hindsight is twenty twenty. But got Tyreek here at seventy one hundred. He had a monster day, man. That whole game went crazy. You already know. if you didn't if you went in that Miami Baltimore game yesterday, you didn't take anything down, man. So ran back with Tyreek here. He gave us a great performance right here, fourteen percent off. Running backs is where we went wrong yesterday. I had too much Saquon Barkley, but. 
Here's the thing, guys. Like I said, if you caught my running backs video, you know I was high on Saquon Barkley. I told you he wasn't a lock. He can't fail, but he was going to have every opportunity. And the good thing with running back yesterday, nobody really did well outside of Nick Chubb. So you could have cashed no matter what running back you went. I think every running back on the slate scored like under 20 fantasy points pretty much. The only person who had a good performance is Nick Chubb. So you could have cashed yesterday as long as you didn't get a zero at your running back, man, because most of all the running backs were in the teens, 12, 13, 15. I think uh, McCaffrey had, what, 19 points. So Nick Chubb was the only high-scoring running back yesterday's slate. So you could have went with any running back in cash. So it didn't kill us right here having this much Saquon Barkley, but it definitely didn't hurt us, man. I was way overweight on Saquon Barkley, far too much him. Then rounding out the lineup, man, I needed a cheap guy. Was trying to get uh, different right here. I didn't want to go uh, the kid from Kansas City. I can't think of his name right now. I'm sorry. It's early, man. Drawing a blank. I didn't want to go there. I probably should have, though, because this lineup wasn't as chalky as I thought it would be. But I thought it would be a little more chalky than this. So I tried to go different with my pay down option that receives. I didn't want to go to the kid from uh, the Cardinals. So went uh, Skarnick here. Pardon me. I hope I'm saying that right. My apologies if I'm not, if you're hearing this. But at 1.6% at on, man. Got this Rams Atlanta. Another high total game on the slate. Was trying to take advantage of some of this Rams offense in this spot. Uh, he didn't do much. Two receptions, 16 yards. And then just feeling like the bottom, man. We're still the defense. We're just trying to get off that chalky, chalky Broncos defense. So it was looking the other cheap defense options. Still is right here. They only gave us three points. So you needed the uh, the high scoring defense yesterday was, I think, the Patriots. So you needed one of them. But like I said, defense didn't kill you either because not a lot of people was on the Patriots and the Jaguars, I believe, with a two high scoring defense. So. That's my best lineup, man. 201.28, man. How'd y'all do out there? Let me know in the comment section, man, what your Sunday wear was like, what you what you did right, what you did wrong, and, man, who might have killed your lineup, all right? Finish out the video, man. Let's just look at the winner, as always. Serendipity Sweetie right here with the winner. 269, and you already see it, man. That Miami Baltimore game. If you didn't, if you wasn't on that game yesterday, man, it's probably a rough one for you. They went Lamar Jackson here for this is a monster game for Lamar Jackson. I hate, I hate, I messed up my Lamar Jackson lineup so bad, man. I should have double stacked him, but you didn't really need it. As you can see, the winner right here, she didn't double stack Lamar Jackson either. She went to solo Lamar. And I had a lot of just Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews stack yesterday, but if I had to went double stacks. And got some Bateman in here. Or even just double stack the other side. Went Waddle and Hill or Waddle and whatever. But not not enough double stacks with Lamar for me. I say killed my lineups. But they, she got it done right here. I'm guessing this a woman. Serendipity, sweetie. Could not be. My apologies. Don't want to offend anybody. But Lamar Jackson, Perry, Mark Andrews. Ran it back with Jalen Waddle. Uh, she got some of that uh, Washington-Detroit game. With Samuel and ran it back with Amaron St. Brown. She went dulling for a cheap play from the Colts here and had Chubb with Jeff Wilson, man. That was part of, oh, the Buccaneers, 26. They had a nice defensive showing as well. I think, yeah, Bucks, Pats, and the Jaguars were the top three scoring defenses, I believe, yesterday. So, Buccaneers paid up for a little bit of defense. That's another good way to get different, man. Defense, man, you please, you don't ever have to play a chalk defense. When I saw everybody going to the Bengals, I knew automatically I wasn't going to the Bengals. Automatically, man. Defense is too hard to tell. So, any chalky defense, I'm going to get away from. And if the chalky defense kill me, it just kill me. But shout out to Serendipity Sweetie right here. Congrats on the win. That's going to do it for this lineup review here today, man. Y'all stay tuned in this week. Catch my stacks videos on Thursday and the running backs videos on Friday, man. That's going to do it for us here today. Y'all know the motto, chances make champions. Y'all green up, man. i see y'all next go round, all right? Let's go.